Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets. Today is a pretty special day. We got our Alien Gear Cloak Tuck 3.0 backing in the mail today. So let's open it up and see what we got. This is the upgrade to their 2.0. All right, here it is. This is the upgrade to their Cloak Tuck 2.0. This is their 3.0 backing. Uh, here we have the hardware packet with the spacers, the Allen wrench, and the screws. But here is what the fuss is all about. This is the new and improved 3.0 backing. As you can see, uh, if you are familiar with, let me show you the 2.0. This is the 2.0. If you have one, you're very familiar with it. I have a couple of them for a couple different sidearms. The uh, 2.0 is extremely comfortable, but it does have what some people would consider uh, technical issues or uh, flaws that Alien Gear actually listened to and improved on. If you look, and I have two videos about this particular holster. I have my, uh, my unboxing and intro video, and I also have a follow-up safety uh, update video for this holster that addressed some of the issues with this holster. Um, one of the big ones, if you look here on the, the backing, the hardware is exposed. And if you wear the holster every day, and you're like any other human, you sweat. The hardware, which is a steel or uh, of some type, would rust. You can see there's rust on mine in several different spots. Um, another big strike against this holster was because it was so soft, because it was so soft and, and comfortable, it lacked some of the rigidity that was required um, for certain aspects of the holster. The main one was this body shield. As you would put it on and wear it throughout the day, it would conform to your body. As you can see, mine is curved in certain areas with the, where I usually wear it on the back of my hip. But some people, after they drew the weapon, the body shield would bend in because it was so soft. And as a result, made reholstering difficult. And if you did it on the fly, you could even knock your weapon out of battery. Um, so, those are the two main issues that people all over had with the, the holster. With the 3.0 holster, they address those. First, we'll start with the first complaint. As you can see, there is no exposed hardware on the back. And of course, when you do put in your belt clips, you will have that one single set of hardware, not the six remaining unless you actually fill in the holes with. Also, they did stiffen the structure. There is a layer of stainless spring steel in between the inner and outer layers. And if I angle this right with the light, you may or may not be able to pick up There's a ridge right here. This is where the spring steel is. And it's not on the sides here. So it does remain flexible to wrap around your hip. But it also has that stiffness required to address that other issue with the body shield bending. It does have a textured uh, thermoelastomer coating that they have uh, this finish, if you can pick it up on the camera. This is what they call their alien skin finish. And uh, I love the fact that it is made in the USA and proudly displays the stars and stripes. And they also have their their logo embossed here as well. So here she is. It's just a simple swap out. As you can see, the, sh the form factor remains the same. Same size. All I have to do is, with the Allen wrench, that is supplied. Remove the four screws. Take this shell off and place it on this backing. And wear it around and do as much drawing and practicing and dry firing and and use it and see if it outperforms the 2.0 backing. Okay, so here we have the 2.0 and we're going to take our shell off and put it on the 3.0 backing just to show you how easy it is. 
you use the included hex wrench or Allen wrench and you just unscrew all four of your screws that hold on your shell and you can pop your shell off and you put that aside now here is the 2.0 backing with the rubber spacers um, you can you get a whole fresh set of hardware with the 3.0 and with any holster you buy from them so there's no need to reuse the uh, the original um, spacers so I'm gonna put the 2.0 aside and bring in the 3.0 and it's pretty easy as you can see the they're already the four mounting studs are there you get the corresponding size spacer you want depending on the amount of retention you want on your particular holster pop those on the studs take your shell line them up and wrench it down with your provided screws so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back okay once you have your shell off and removed up next are the belt clips, same thing. Same tool, loosen up your screws, pop your clip off, and then you got their same rubber stud, rubber spacer. Now we get the shell and the belt clips removed. I'm going to reuse the spacers on the belt clip because that's the ones I preferred. Now, a little different with the 2.0, you had three posts permanently affixed on each side. With 3.0, you do have three holes so you can adjust your, your rise and your cant, but they supply you with two posts so that you don't have any extra hardware that would you know rust if not in use etc okay here she is all changed out this is now officially the alien gear cloak tuck 3.0 um, word of note when you are replacing your posts when you put in your shell on your backing you're gonna have those brand new green spacers Okay, you're going to want to make sure you crush them when you're putting the post in, otherwise your screw's not going to fit. It's not going to reach quite down there because they are made to compress, and that's what gives you your retention. So you get the retention from the amount of pressure you have pulling down with the screws for the shell, and then you have your body pushing against the holster from this side. And furthermore, you still have that spring steel inside, uh, so that actually helps your retention which if you have the 2.0 I had I wrenched it down pretty hard to uh, to get it to where I like it you do get many different sized spacers so you can find the one that fits your need now let's see here I have no magazine and no rounds in the chamber now this holster is for a Glock 23 but it will also fit the 19. I have both. It's the same exact size gun. There you go. Let's check our retention. Pretty good. And of course you can tighten them down and, or loosen them and adjust them as you see fit. There she is. The Alien Gear Cloak Tuck 3.0 holster. I want to say thank you to Alien Gear for providing this backing for me to check out top-notch customer service, top-notch people to deal with. I'm going to do a follow-up video, put this thing through the, the ringer like I did with the first version, and um, see if we have any, any issues remaining like we did with the other one. Okay, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. A special thank you again goes out to Alien Gear Holsters for supplying me with the 3.0 backing. I look forward to your comments if there's any questions. As you can see, it's pretty easy to swap it over to create a 3.0 from a 2.0. You can order the uh, 3.0 backing from Alien Gear on their website, which I'll have a link down in the description. Um, they're $30.88, so it's, it's pretty cheap to 
to upgrade to the most uh, recent version of their holster. Uh, also, it still is covered by their amazing warranty if you have any problems for any reason. Um, they will take care of it and make it right. So again, I really appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe. Have a good one.